welcome back. So, I want to give you some more updates on my van build. I've been building this van for a few months now, three or four months on and off. I've got to take it steady because I know I've not mentioned it hardly, but I've had my knee operated on. So I have got to take it steady. By the way, the knee operation went well. Recovery started to go well, then I've had to come back to work. So now the knee's not so good. It's now worse than it was a month ago. So I've really got to take it steady. But I just can't sit still, and that's the issue. So, there's a few other life updates. Uh, I'll post a picture now. All right, so that happened a week ago. Oops. <laughs> oh, so that's another, obviously I've known it's coming for a while. So I've had to, this is the reason why November and December are always gonna be a slow month for coalition vans because I knew that these things were coming up. So, uh, again, just, uh, just bear with me for the, the next month, well, a few weeks at least. But I just want to show you where we're at with the van. The van's made loads of progress, to be fair. But I've just started the diesel heater up just to get it warm inside because I've just done some varnishing. I just wanted it to uh, to get warm. But I finished off the overhead cupboards on this side and also added a cupboard above the kitchen for stuff, uh, coffee stuff and stuff that, you know. I uh, put a 240 socket in over there racked my knives up uh even though i'm not really cooking in here yet um i'll show you actually i'll show you some other bits that i've ordered by the way i bought that for the workshop that's a game changer i was actually sweating in here yesterday um other than that it's freezing okay so bruce lauderdale recommended that i go with renergy this time round so that is the inverter and it's fucking massive, absolutely huge. And it weighs a lot as well, which is something that I'm not right, but that's my hand in comparison to it, it's massive. Uh, I've gone for all this Renergy stuff. Bruce is gonna install this after Christmas uh, because I, I probably could do it. I'd just rather get Bruce to do it. I trust Bruce's, uh, I just trust, trust him. Uh, 60 amp battery to battery charger which Victron don't do so that's already better than Victron the charge control is 60 amps that'll do I've got 575 watts solar on the roof so that 60 amp charge will be perfect for that and then this little controller here I don't really understand it mo most of it um, you might see the Fogstar wrappers uh, I've just put the battery in so I can't really show it you but I've just put a Fogstar Drift Pro 460 amp hour battery um, th there's the mess from that but uh, the Fogstar batteries uh, seem to be doing really good especially the Pro models so that's what I've gone for it comes with a balancer as well to balance it all out and all that business but I've already done that I've just installed it temporary even though I've got no way of charging it uh, from the van so I've got no DC to DC and I've got no charge controller for the solar but for now I can charge it up with uh, my smart charger for the time being again it's only temporary until Bruce is ready to, to come and install for me as soon as he's back from Scotland uh, I'm, it'll all get installed it'll all start looking nice and that uh, but I'm going to show you around some other bits in the van that I have been doing again I've been to say I shouldn't be busy and I should be resting I've been busy but I've not done a whole lot like I've not spent my entire time working on it I've just been pottering about but I had a good day on this yesterday uh, I've just varnished some stuff so I've sanded and varnished this table again which is why there's loads of dust everywhere sanded and varnished this again even though I've done it about four times Citroen relays have this problem where when you open the door, water runs down here and drips straight onto the worktop. So I've had to varnish this bit quite a few times. Um, but that's just a citron relay, citron relay problem. Uh, the shelf unit up here, again, it was just mainly for coffee and that really. 
But I guess the main part of this was to mount some lights in. So I've got these uh, touch on, touch off, uh, puck light type things underneath here. I wasn't going to go with them, it wasn't the plan to go with them, but I was looking through my toolbox yesterday, uh, my spare box, and realised I'd got them. And it just saved running an extra switch, so they are temporarily wired up. Um, as you can see, the ceiling lights, I've not got the diffusers on at the moment because I've been working in it, so I need it to be as bright as possible. I did some more of the ceiling lights, I've just got a few more to do on this side, and then one more to do on this side. But I just wanted to wait until I'd finished the cupboards and everything to do that. Another little sexy addition is uh, I've got kitchen under lights on the kitchen uh, under the kitchen unit so it kind of lights up the floor and I can show you that and demonstrate because I can turn off these kitchen lights and I can turn off the main lights and there you go so it kind of has got its own light which leads me onto this cabinet here um, I built this unit basically because there's nothing there's, a, there's just kind of a spare gap there so I built a unit to go there I've not finished it yet there's no doors in it or anything I mean two minds whether to put a fridge in there or just have it as an extra storage cupboard I don't know if I can be bothered with a fridge I may do but we'll see I may put a fridge in there so I'm going to leave that open for now but on top is going to be a coffee bar hopefully i'm going to put like a barrister style coffee machine there that's going to sit on there permanently so i can always make nice coffee because i do like my coffee um and on this side i've got the induction hob there's some drawers uh, i need to make some dividers for this so that my cutlery and stuff can be uh, put in there nicely and then as i showed you in the last video got the folding doors so they, uh, let's move out of the way so they fold up out of the way because I've got na a narrow gap down here especially so the doors all fold up like that uh, especially that one which ordinarily wouldn't open up because of that seat but there you go they fold out of the way but uh, just turn the light back on it's all coming along really well uh, I've built the cupboard doors over there. I've just got to finish them off a little bit. Alignment problems. Uh, uh, sort the alignment problems. Uh, but I've got these lights as well that turn on and off inside the cupboards. Which I'll be putting in those cupboards also. And I was tempted to put them in the kitchen unit cupboards. Um, when Bruce... Woodwork's kind of done. I'll be honest. I, I, apart from the doors on that coffee bar bit. There's not a lot of woodwork left to go in this. I've got to sort out some flooring. I've been on with uh, the Cardine people, um, Conspiracy James, about getting some Cardine flooring. But the issue I've got here is that this is also a work van, which needs to have wood slid down it, which slides actually all the way down here to the back because the bed divides up. I could show you that, but I've not got seat cushions made properly yet. Um, but anyway, so I don't want to scratch the floor when I put wood in, so I'm not sure what to do. Um, Condine is guaranteed against scratching, but I, I don't really want to scratch it in the first place. So maybe I could put a rug down or a mat down when I put wood in the back, but uh, I do have a photo of it in work mode with the bed up and uh, wood slid down here, but if I can find it, I'll stitch it in, but um, There you go, it is one of the things it is but the, the van is my daily driver it, uh, I use it for everything now as you can see the children uh, Sit there and there is an extra seat in the front there for the new child um, There's a sock on the floor that's mine. I'm not sure why there's a lone sock on the floor. It's not what you think it is. Don't worry. And there you go. Coming along dead good. I'm so happy with it. To say that this is a low budget van as well, like I've not got a huge, uh, uh, the electrics cost me a fair bit. Um, uh, the electrics are, 
I think maybe two and a half grand went all in, which is still a fair chunk of money, but in comparison to what it would have been if I'd used all Victron stuff, I could have gone for a bigger battery. Foxstar are doing like a 600 amp hour battery now or something like that, some crazy battery. I went for 460 because it's still bigger than I had in my Land Rover, which was more than adequate, but it's still a you know reasonable price. I think it was about just over a grand Again, still a chunk of money, but the amount of money that this has cost me in comparison to the amount of money that it would cost a customer is unreal because there's no labor cost here because I've done it myself. Uh, it's been a bit of a learning curve, but <laughs> there it is. Anyway, the video after this video should be the next van build project for a customer. And I'm excited about it because it's not one of these. I love building Citroen relays. I love building this kind of layout. I love the sort of, I, I do like the coalition bands set up, but I've got something special coming in. And when the guy brought it, I said yes straight away, even though I'd not really had a chance to talk to him about it. I, I knew I wanted to do it. Uh, it's not a huge money build it's not got a lot of expensive gear in it it's mainly labor as in woodwork and stuff it's mainly um all that kind of stuff it's not having a big electrical system or anything it's a very special van and i can't wait for you to see it hopefully it's arriving in two days time and it's a project that really is going to take me up into january but i am going to start doing it especially filming it uh next week so the next video after this one will be a cool cool project i can't wait for you to see it anyway i'm gonna leave you there's a life update i've got another child i don't know how that i do it i know exactly how that happened you know how it happened i've got another child uh i'm tired I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's a very busy time for liam the terrible um but anyway i've got a workshop to clean I'm gonna go, I'll see you soon, love you all. Thank you again, bye Felicia.